contacted Helena Jantunen, who immediately began long distance healing. Jantunen is a medial person who claims to be in contact with the planet Xenos and creatures from the Sirius solar system. Psychic healing has been studied widely in Europe and the United States. In laboratory tests at the University of New York, the process was used to speed up the growth of plants and to improve patients' hemoglobin values. Some doctors have in fact tried psychic healing themselves. Sir Palilia came out of the coma and, to the amazement of all, she recovered from the pneumonia and many other ailments she was found to have had when she was brought to the hospital. No, kun mä heräsin siitä koomasta tai tajuttomuudesta, missä mä nyt sitten olinkaan, niin tota, ensimmäinen ajatus oli vaan, että missä, missä mä oon ja kuinka kauan mä oon ollut. Ja kun oli tota, noin hirveä iso huone ja mä en ollut ennen ollut teho-osastolla ja siellä oli yhdessä, yhdessä huoneessa vain yksi ihminen. Ja mulla ei ollut mitään kipuja, ei tuskia, ei mitään, ei mitään mutta kun vaan, että mulla ei toiminut kädet oikein kunnolla. Aloista mä en tiedä, ne heilu, mutta en pystynyt niin nousemaan istumaan eikä mitään. Ja, tota... ja, ja... Sitten mun omaiset kävi katsomassa ja hoitajat, mitä sitten kertoi, niin tota... mä olin kaksi kuukautta ollut sitten siinä samassa, melkein kaksi kuukautta siinä samassa tilassa. Ja olin silläkin hetkellä hengityskoneessa, että se mua kanssa hämmästytti, kun mulla oli kauheasti kaiken maailman vempaimia ympärillä. Ja osastolla mä olin sitten kaiken kaikkiaan vissiin kaksi viikkoa sen heräämisen jälkeen, vajaa kaksi viikkoa. Mä parannun ihan hurjaa vauhtia ja... Niin lääkäri tuli kierrolle sitten tämän heräämisen jälkeen seuraavana aamuna ja oli vielä parin päivän vapaalla siinä välillä. Että en, ettei ollut nähnyt mua, niin hän kuin aivan soven, niin hän sanoi, että ihminen aika ei ole ohi, että mä ei voi olla totta, että tää tyttö istuu tässä. Ja siinä mä vaan istuin ja heiluttelin, heiluttelin jalkoja, mutta jalat ei pitänyt, heiluttelin jalkoja. Niin did a miracle play a role in Sir Palilia's recovery? Clinically, she experienced several critical stages during her illness. According to doctors, her chances of surviving the coma were minimal, but not impossible. But the first signs of recovery that began immediately with the start of psychic healing can be considered a miracle. Our concepts of life and death have changed so radically with the advances made in paranormal research that a reassessment of the foundation of science is called for. People ask what science's conception of reality is and whether it should be reassessed. People have more experiences that show there is an extrasensory dimension in life. It seems that if science doesn't widen its scope, and holds on to the materialistic view, it will be in the rear guard. When people's view of the world is changing, science ought to be a forerunner in studying all new experiences and phenomena with no preconceived notions. Now, people feel science is in the rear guard. Thus, science will lose its authority as it gives no answers, or critically explain people's experiences. The world might seem rather bizarre, which is why the meaning of life is a burning question. I think we all have to look for the answer to that, as it also changes during the course of life. Finally, it might seem a part of a larger whole, that we're coming from somewhere and going somewhere, and that you must use your abilities to the best in life to help other people. The American psychologist Wambach conducted hypnosis tests where he took people into a prenatal state. They all sensed a high meaning of life. To love, to help other people, to expand your consciousness. 
the meaning dwelling in every individual, the precious meaning of life in every human being, is often forgotten in the course of life. The really fortunate ones are the ones who find their individual meaning of life in this finite life and boldly make it real. This often clashes with society's expectations. But I do feel we must keep looking for it all our lives. Throughout history, mankind has looked to great thinkers and researchers for the answer to the mystery of life. So far, science has only been interested in how the world is constructed and how it functions. Over the centuries, science established the concept that the world is a huge clockwork machine. Moreover, the Western concept of reality has been marked by a sharp antithesis of philosophical thinking. There are two completely different worlds. There is the world of matter that natural science studies and the spiritual world that natural science can't reach. This Carthesian dualism has always prevailed in Western scientific thinking. It still does. The situation is now changing. The problem is the relationship between these two worlds. When studying the nuclear world, such phenomena have surfaced that make the relationship important. Our consciousness receives information on the material world through observations. Thus, the spiritual world, which includes the consciousness, can't exist independent of the material world. They interact. This is very important in nuclear research, since the observations are very complex and difficult. You can't say we're describing the nuclear world or the reality. Science can't claim to have reached it. But we have disclosed information on it since we do control nuclear phenomena. From a realistic point of view, the situation is new, as we can't speak of reality itself. We can't reach it, but we do get information on it. I think this is natural. Thus, I find supernatural people quite natural. Miracles are part of the deal. Our existence is a miracle. We live in a miracle.